Hey everybody, it's White Wolf M here and welcome to a, another episode of Weirdcraft. So basically today I'm going to be doing another little mod showcase. I'm going to be showing you the Penguins mod. It is literally just called Penguins. There are a couple of recipes that I can't seem to find for crafting some certain things. Don't know if they're just for, you know, killing the mobs and getting them as drops or special treasure. Or maybe you have to be creative to get them. I just don't know. But obviously, I will let you know which items those are. And then, any more further issue... Like, if I find out the proper, like, information, it will be in the description below. But for now, let's get right into it. So, to start off with, this is what the little egg all looks like. And then we're just going to spawn in a little penguin. Look at his chubby cute little face oh what a cute little penguin you can also have apparel for these little pingus well penguins and sometimes they can spawn in with it but clearly it doesn't look like it's something that drops often so i'm a little bit unsure as to how you're supposed to get certain items they are purely for aesthetic reasons you kill one and that's it that's that's all you get i don't know if they attack you after you've attacked them but we're not going to test because there's a lot in there. So basically the apparel. There's a bow tie, a top hat, a scarf and some earmuffs. And the best thing about this is you can dye them all different colours. The scarf has like different patterns. So with the dye you can do like six different patterns I want to say. Here I'll show you. Oh it's five patterns, my apologies. So this basically is just any colour. Then for this one, it's a vertical stripe. I will show you, obviously, in just a moment. This is a horizontal stripe. This is checkers. And then that is just like a line at the bottom of colour. I have got a chest full of these scarves to test the different patterns and tons of dye. Right, so we're just going to test it out as just a normal standard colour. There we go. So that is literally just, you've got a purple base then. So I think you can build on top of that whatever colour you want. So let's just get one of a bunch of different colours. Now let's just stick with these colours for the time being for the plain shades. Next what we're going to do is we're going to try out the vertical stripes. So magenta vertical stripe. It doesn't look like anything at the minute. I think you have to put it actually on the pingu. So we're going to do a little tester now. We are going to make one, I say, black. Oh, fancy. I mean, it's probably a bit silly to do a black one. But then what we're going to do, we're going to try and do a vertical stripe. Black base, vertical stripe. See? I thought so. So you can actually mix and match your colours. So first of all, let's try with this one. Aww. You can't even see his little snoz anymore. So these are all the ones that had the base a different colour. Let's try this one. Oh! Oh! Snazzy! What a snazzy boy! Oh yeah, boy! Oh my gosh. I am I'm absolutely in love. So as you can see, there are a ridiculous amount of possibilities to do with the colouring on these. Oh, this is so cute. I'm loving all these different, like, stripes. And there's your, the, there's your horizontal stripes as well. So it's literally a case of your personal preference to do with the favourite scarves that you use. Oh, look how fashionable they all are. It's fantastic. Oh my god, you can put it on the babies. Oh my god, you can put it on the babies. That was a revelation that I needed to find out. Oh, okay. So one's just spawned in, showing off a little bow tie. Oh. So there we've just got the miscellaneous dyed bow tie. Awesome. So we're just going to leave that as it is. So now I've shown you the scarves. We're going to move on to the top hats. Now, the top hats can also be dyed. Literally all you do is put a top hat in with some dye. That is literally it. It's nice and simple. Oh, don't you look flipping dapper, my good sir. Oh, you can put them on the babies. Ah, this is the best day of my life. When you can put like things on like babies. It's great. Oh, this is hilarious. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. This has made my year. 
So there we go, we've got some dapper little pingus. Oh, I, you can mix and match them as well. You can put, like, I think you can put everything on except for the bow tie and the scarf at the same time. Like, I think you can put one of the headgear and one of the neck gear on at a time. We will test that, though, in a bit with the different pingu. But for now, let's just put all these top hats back because I wasn't sure how many I was going to need. So <laughs> there's all the top hats. Moving on. I will show you really quickly how to make the top hats as well. Four wool. That's how simple it is to make a top hat. And the bow tie is just as simple as well. It's just two pieces of wool and then string in the center. They're the only two that you can actually create. The white ones you can't make, which sucks a little bit, but that's just how it is, unfortunately. So let's just get a load of earmuffs in here. So the earmuffs are similar in the sense where you can make different styles. There's three different styles. You can just do a full colour, you can just do a white, like a band, or you can do like the white at the top and then just the actual muffs having a different colour themselves. So let's try out the simple all colour ones. My heart! It actually shows it as a preview. Oh my god. That is the cutest flipping thing in the world and then i'm pretty sure it's that and then across the top isn't it yeah and then there you go so you can see the difference in the styles it's not too difficult to do or to pick up on it's really simplistic and straightforward and to the point so let's put some earmuffs on some pingus shall we so this is the oh what a cool dude oh my god so these are the little white band ones there we go. Oh, so you can customize as much as you want. I think it's such a cool idea. Really clever idea to have incorporated that, honestly. Now, I don't know how customizable the bow ties are, so you will have to bear with me. So, there we go. We have got, you can dye them. That's awesome. So, I've got pink. So, there you have it. Those are the full colored ones. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to try doing multiple colors so that's gone a really strange color so it does it again it mixes it i think oh my gosh that is a beautiful shade Oof. so let's pop these little bow ties on our penguins oh so flipping dapper i need to see the little baby one in a purple bow tie hold on has he got a purple bow tie on Oh, so apparently the little babies can't wear bow ties. Only the adults can wear bow ties. So the last thing for us to try is to see if they can wear multiple like items at once. So we're just going to get an egg and spawn one in. Just loose, running around. There he is. So give him his hat. Give him his bow tie. Now... Ah, uh, it replaces them. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so I was right in my first assumption. But look at this dapper little purple penguin. How freaking adorable does he look? Okay guys, so that's all the time that I have for, for today for the little penguin mod. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you are able to at least leave comments below giving the recipe for the rest of the people watching for the scarves and the earmuffs. But for some reason, they're just... I just can't find one. Check the description below continuously. Because I may eventually find one. You never know. But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Subscribe to become part of the one today. And don't forget, it's nice to be nice. And I'll see you all again very soon.